Illegal items are being found in student backpacks. That's being revealed after One Valley High School implemented mandatory backpack checks. News Channel 3's Jake Ingrassi has more tonight than what officials say they have found and why students say it's not keeping them safer. Mandatory backpack checks are now part of the daily routine for Coachella Valley High School students. The district started the policy just last week in an effort to crack down on weapons and prohibited items on the campus after several recent reports forced lockdowns. Last Tuesday, a report of a knife turned out not to be true, but parents gathered as students were locked down for a couple hours. The backpack checks were rolled out the next day. And CVUSD board member Joey Acuna says the searches are already turning up illegal items. We're searching backpacks and we still found kids with drugs. And they knew that they were going to search their backpacks and they still got found people with drugs. I don't know what's going through the heads of some of our kids right now. I, I, I'm at a loss for that. Acuna didn't specify what kind of drugs were found or how much. We asked CVUSD for clarification, but a spokesperson's response only addressed reports of long lines and delayed students. These students are missing on their education. Is this going to continue for our students to be showing up to first period to second period? These are the periods that the students are missing. Superintendent Dr. Luis Valentino says the district will continue to improve. Maybe we need training by security office to, to do a better job of checking backpacks. But no, that the effort is there. Board members acknowledging flaws in the plan. It only works if we search everything. To which students say they still don't feel safe. That doesn't help at all. They're going to check the bags, but with the, they don't check what the students have in their pockets. The student can literally have a gun in their pocket and no one will know because they don't check that. Parents call for metal detectors or school resource officers. Expenses district leaders say would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. And some of the board members say I still do not support resource officers on the schools. Those are measures they still won't get behind. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.